Hello and welcome to the excellent English club. As you know that we have been discussing linguistics and branches of linguistics. We have already discussed two branches of linguistics like phonetics and phonology. Today's topic is morphology. In this topic I will discuss what is morphology, what is morpheme and what are the types of morpheme. So let's start. Okay, what is morphology, what is morpheme and what are the types of morphemes? First of all, we will see the definition of morpheme and we will discuss the word morpheme. For example, look here. The word morpheme consists of two word segments, morph and logy. Now look here. Morphology, morph means forms and ology means the study of means the study of word formation, the study of word formation. Now let me tell you the definition of morphology. It's a branch of linguistics which focuses on the internal structure of a word and rules involved in word formation, means how we make words. This study tells us about how we can make words how we can do it i will tell you later on now look here what is morpheme a morpheme is a minimal grammatical unit of a language and a morpheme is a short segment of language that meets three basic criteria three basic criteria okay what are these three criteria look here it is a word or a part of word that has meaning as I told you okay without meaning that is not morpheme number two it cannot be divided into a smaller meaningful segments without changing its meaning we cannot divide it further if a morpheme is there we cannot divide it into further into smaller unit why if we will divide it it may change its meaning but here they say that it cannot be divided into smaller meaningful segment without changing its meaning without changing its meaning so we cannot divide it into smaller unit number three is it has relatively the small stable meaning in different verbal environment means it has a relatively same stable meaning so these are the three criteria of a morpheme clear what is morpheme a minimal grammatical unit of a language which has a meaning plus it cannot be further divided or it is a part of a word or maybe a small word look at the examples here in english the word is stopped for example is composed of two morphemes stop plus ed look here stop plus ed similarly the word walked consists of two morphemes walk plus ed so we can say that the word stopped consists of two morphemes that is stop and ed similarly we have another word that is walked and we have two morphemes walk plus ed clear this is one example let me tell you another example. Look here. In English, the word singers. In English, the word singers contain three morphemes. How many morphemes? Three. Sing, one morpheme. E-R-R, -R, singer. Second morpheme. And plural form of S is third morpheme. Look here. Example. Sing, the action. The action is going on. It is a verb. Number two, E-R. The one who does the action means ER when you put ER, add ER to any word like drive, driver, play, player, okay. Similarly, sing, singer. So ER is the one who does the action. And the third one is as, that is the mark of plural form. So this word has 
three morphemes. All these three morphemes have meaning. For example, the first one is verb, second one has a meaning that it makes a word from verb to noun and third one makes plural form. Now look here, there are some more examples I have put here. So the following words have two morphemes. Look here, unhealthy, disregard, happily, gardener and kindness. So what is morphology and what is morpheme you understand. Now let me tell you the types of morpheme. There are six types of morphemes but we will discuss first four types in detail in this video. Okay? Look here. The first one is free morpheme. Number two, bound morpheme. In the bound morpheme we have two other branches. Those are derivational morpheme and inflectional morpheme. Right? Number next is Content morpheme and function morpheme. These are the six types of morphemes. I will tell you very brief about content and function morpheme and later on in the next video I will tell you what is free morpheme, what is bond morpheme, derivational morpheme, inflectional morpheme and I will give you different examples of these morphemes. So in this video I will just give you a brief idea about content morpheme and function morpheme. Let's start with the content and function morphemes. The content morphemes are the morphemes which have a meaning. They are vocabulary. They are vocabulary. Vocabulary means they are words, complete words like verb, adjective, adverb like this. For example, as you can see here, fast, sad, mean, car, food, or adverbs, adjectives, and verbs, etc. All those are content morphemes. Means content morphemes are the main words, main verbs. On the other hand, we have function morphemes. Function morphemes have a grammatical use. For example, pronouns, determiners, prepositions, like in, on, it, like, okay, pronouns like he, she, it, they, these are all function morphemes. Understand? So these are the morphology, morphemes and types of morphemes. The rest of the types like free morpheme, bond morpheme, inflection morpheme and derivational morpheme. These four types I will discuss in the next video. Okay? Till then, goodbye. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.